Right here we have Blast Heifer. It's a calf on our farm. Yesterday, if you saw the video, we actually sold the last of our bred heifers. There were seven left. A feller from Nebraska came down and bought them. The weather's nice. That pair's old enough. We're gonna kick them out into the field and then we are finishing up fertilizing our pastures and hayland today. I'm gonna take the first leg, gonna do a couple pieces, empty the spreader, and then dad will finish it up later today. Buddy, can you walk for me? Can you walk? Can you? He said no. Now we're trucking. Yeah. Uh-huh. A hard slappy in the wild. So it's still pretty early in April, and we have had some late snowstorms in April before. But for the most part, as long as we don't have some bad weather coming, I can hear the coons in the ceiling. Raccoons. But as long as we don't have some bad weather coming, I think we're done calving in these buildings, which is healthier, and it's just nice when you can calve outside. That means the weather is pretty good. Good morning, coons. You can hear them sliding in there. They live between the roof and those uh, particle board, and they're just like, that's that's them. Oh, I'm almost there. Going out into the big world. The train's leaving. The train's leaving. You got to get moving. Got a brand new baby over here. That's a nice big calf. Hey, buddy. That's a bull. You can see because it's got the fun bag right there. We're about ready to take off. Spread some vert. Yesterday when we were doing some pastures, it was pretty bumpy, so I better check on that weld that that crack I had to weld the other or last year. Looks like it's holding up. The wild Brian in its natural habitat. here at the south farm you can see this is where we brought those first 20 pairs maybe not out of that window that thing needs washed there's two grass patches here one of them is like three acres the other one's ten so they're pretty small and then the, of course the pasture over here so it's not going to take too long except the pasture is pretty bumpy like most pastures both the inside and outside are bad a little bit different rate than we were yesterday we got a nice chart right here so depending on density of what you're spreading and these are how many pounds per acre it tells you how many inches to open it pretty handy we are ready to rock One more pass and we're done. Man, three acres goes quick, especially when you can do about 50 in an hour. On to the next one. I've mentioned a couple times that these pastures are usually pretty bumpy. The haylands, a lot of times are better, at least a little bit. I'm getting these two small haylands done so I can get rid of some weight before I go into the bumpy pasture. Don't really want to snap an axle, break a leaf spring, just have all that weight back in there, bouncing. Dang it! I didn't realize that gate opens out. Here we go! It was fun. Being in a tractor, love it. You should try it sometime.
down to the last pass of this one. Just knocking these acres out. I've done a whole 13, wow. <laughs> We're just gonna hop across where we got our herd bulls hanging out at. They're starting to graze on some grass. We're gonna have to get them out of there pretty quickly so they don't, don't want them chomping on that grass before you know the pasture has time to get ahead of all the critters. Since we sold the last of our red heifers, we got a place to put them back at home. Them some big old boys. Should be 10 of them. Should be. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, there's, he's back there. He's back there. Woo! Woo! Excuse me, buddy. Jeez. That's from last year fertilizing. That's what Dad calls a glitch. I don't know why he calls it that. I think it's funny. That's, that's going to be one of those things I tell my kids. Grandpa always called that a glitch, but it was it was wet when we were fertilizing last year. Pretty dry this year. All right, we're off. We got the outline. We're just gonna, you know, go back and forth like us farmers do, and we'll see if we have any left. Move, buddies. Looks like another another glitch from last year. Glitches aren't fun driving over. Another one down. Now we just have one hayland and one pasture left. So we're gonna head home, fill the spreader up, and Dad is going to take over. Get nice. Right on. <laughs> kind of stuff makes me want to get a better camera. But if you can't see them, there's some wild turkeys there. There's four of them, right about there. And actually I just see there's a couple more headed in the tree. So there's like six of them. Crazy. See them in this spot every once in a while. Nature, it's pretty neat. At first I thought those are some really small, weird looking deer. They, they, they weren't deer. Ran out of corn this morning? Yep, yeah, well no, I had enough, but I had to scrape a lot of corn. Uh, well we had the semi full of corn ready ready to dump, and it looks like he dumped this morning. Big chunk. about lunchtime dad's picking out a bowl for a customer and later we're gonna pull the behemoth out we're gonna get the 9230 out and we're gonna do some tillage no I wish the wind dies down we're gonna wash it off one thing that needs done is an oil change so I'll probably be doing that while dad is out spreading the last of the fur Dad's taking off do the last of the hay doesn't look like Ellie's doing too much just chilling we got some stuff to move I'm gonna pull that big old tag out of the shed Better stay busy that sun's nice Hopefully the wind dies down a little bit more, it's still a little windy. I guess the bucket was on the ground a little bit. I didn't hear it squealing. They're thirsty! Finally getting warm enough we can put the float on there. There's no more running the water over for this guy. Got a couple things to move. Hopefully that bobcat starts. And we gotta move the seed here too as well. Looks like these transport tires are doing good, but I know there's at least one tire that's dang near completely flat on the 9230. That's gonna take a while. That one looks flat too. Uh, less than 10. 
I think we need about 18 to 22, something like that. It's a goat. All right, we're ready to rock. I can see we're a little below the add level on the hydraulic fluid. I don't think we have any of that here. I have to get that from Jeff's place. Just got some greasing to do. Just getting everything ready so when it's go time, it's not hopping the tractor. Oh, I haven't greased that since last year. If I remember right, none of these gangs even have grease zerks. They're a sealed bearing. We just gotta do where the wheels lift up and these rolling baskets in the back, chopping baskets. So there's not too much to grease on here, which is, of course, pretty sweet. We're looking pretty good. I bought some armor all the other day when I was at runnings. That's all I had. Just gonna wipe some stuff. It's a little dust in here. Got my bar of soap in case I come across a nice river, you know, and I feel like I need a, a quick bath. So if you guys notice that that fertilizer we was we were loading, kind of like a violet or a purplish bluish color, we put on a uh, urease inhibitor on the urea. Urease is an enzyme that's like my professor always said ubiquitous, like everywhere. I I suppose context clues, huh? And so when the urea comes in contact with this urease enzyme, it converts it into NH3, which is ammonia. Yeah, ammonia. And it's a gas and so you just lose your urea well price of urea is like five hundred dollars it's like ridiculous something like that a ton so obviously we don't want to lose that stuff so we put it on especially when it's warmer like it is getting today and it's sunny that's warm weather and a lot of moisture besides rain you know like dew makes it so that process speeds up and you start losing a lot of your urea of course the urease inhibitor that we had them apply to it isn't cheap either but gives you a little peace of mind plus if you don't have a rain for a long time you can lose a lot of your nitrogen this is driving me nuts look at this just splatter just poo birds we're gonna get the pressure washer out clean this thing up make it look fancy this bird crap is just getting on my nerves but it's nice having another tractor oil change done we still have left we gotta do the moco and we gotta change hydraulic filter. We gotta wash that up, make it look fancy. Uh, what else we got? Both the four wheelers, the Gator. We put like already 3,000 miles. We bought that less than a year ago. We already put 3,000 miles on there. So that thing really needs an oil change. Well, let's get this over to the wash bay and give her a little soak. A little splish splash, taking a bath. I don't know. Get my soap ready. Before I start doing that, I kind of want to make sure that float is working at the where those pairs are at. Make sure it actually stopped it and it's not just still overflowing. Those critters over there could use some uh, more mineral too. <sighs> Didn't think that'd still be running. They're wishing it was Dakota Gold Pro Pellets. It's getting there. I want to make sure it shuts off by itself. Does a way better job than Cole does.
put a little grape flavored wax on it and she'll be good to go. Ready to do some tillage. Are you supposed to rinse this off after you shoot it on? Because I always do, but I don't know if you even need to do that. Let me know in the comments. Do I need to wash off my wax or just leave it? I wish you could smell it. it. Smells like a freezy pop. She's ready to get down and dirty. That's kind of how they do that at Larson Farms, isn't it? I looked down and I was like, that's peculiar looking. I didn't pick this up from earlier when I was fixing tires. And I, you can see I ran the skid loader right through there. Lucky I didn't take that with. Dang, that thing's shiny. Look at it. You see that? Oh, man. Somebody did a good job washing that. Hey, buddy, you got something dangling. Oh. Do you think the neighbors are driving by thinking we're having a farm sale, we're broke? Probably. Could be. We yeah. could be broke. Yeah. Maybe we're just posers. We, we we're, just, we're broke, we just don't know it yet. Do you need a rag? Call? I do. Okay, here you go. Huh? The big sausage fingers were good for something. That's a break, huh? <laughs> I just remembered this is the most frustrating one on the farm. Except the ADAR if you try to switch that because it can't be done. Oh. Uh. Uh. All right. Yeah, it's warmish. Yeah. That could spend spun a few thousand times. Your calf was in the ditch. Put it back in. Oh, I was wondering what was taking you so long. Oh, man, that's hot. That's a hot shaft down here, Dad. I know. There's a hot shaft. Dang it, that's a hot chip. Every fuel pump needs a good fuel pump rock. Very important, that's rule number one when it comes to farming. Write that down, there'll be a test at the end of the video. I wouldn't doubt I'd get a sunburn today. I'm pretty dang pale. I look like I've been living in the Siberian tundra for my whole life. I didn't know if he was going to come. He said they were going to go to Harrison, but... We should probably use a four -wheel, both four-wheelers and catch it or something. Uh, it looks like it's got swollen navel, like it's got navel infection, so... Which is kind of why we uh, spray that iodine on him. So I think we better give it a little bit of penicillin. Did I ever tell you about the time that your mom and I and Lauren and Julie went to the Letcher Fireman's Dance? And when we walked in, I was carrying a jug of whiskey and I took the lid off and I threw it clear across the basketball court where the dance was. And I said, we ain't leaving until this is gone. Well, apparently the other three didn't share my enthusiasm because at closing time, I was going through the garbage trying to find a lid that would screw back on, and it didn't. So for a while, I had a cap just sitting on top of the threads that wouldn't screw on to my whiskey bottle at home, and that's all I got to say about that. Enthusiasm. Much for clavin today. Well, I guess we'll have to get our fun catching a month old calf instead. Yeah, kicky time. Locked and loaded. Cover your nub for safety. Where it's wearing protection. Cover your pokey for protection. Four sixty-five. Okay. Are you okay, sir? You feel better. Oh, Brian. Oh. oh, he bailed. He bailed on us. Oh, jeez. Uh, that's not how Ocean's Eleven ended. Okay. That's how Brian One does it. I'm sure glad you remember how all this goes. I never forget. 
my hose. That's a lot of hose. <laughs> 